it's Megan. So I've been vegan for over a decade. So yeah, it's like kind of an accomplishment. I mean, I wasn't born vegan. So it wasn't really a lifestyle. I was like, I grew up with and everything. And like, I just like, can't stand how like animals get abused and stuff like that. So like, and the health part of like eating meat too. So that was like, I just, I remember the last time I ate meat, it was like I got chicken wings. I had already like slowly started getting off of it. And it was like, the last time I got it, it was like basically the last time. It was like, I ate like a couple. It was like, I think I threw up after. And I, I just got the feeling like, I can't eat this anymore. It's not settling in my stomach. And like, yeah, I've been like vegan for like over a decade and for several years in a row, I like literally just ate hemp seeds. So like nothing special, like literally I ate hemp seeds and apples for just a year. And like back then there wasn't like a whole lot of variety. Like today there's like Beyond Burgers and like all sorts of like other things plant-based burgers and options like vegan chicken, turkey, like you name it. There's like vegan versions of it now, like even vegan bacon. And like, it's like awesome. Cause like they taste really good. And some of the vegan wings, like some of them are kind of expensive, but like they're so good. Like once in a while I'll pay like $10 and get like it would be enough for two people, but like, I eat the whole pack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like, I've actually gone through periods where like, I was down to like 150 or something like that. Like, this is years ago, like before I started transitioning. If you don't know, I'm actually trans. But like, I'll go back to the topic about like the vegan and whatever. But like, Back then, I was like 145, I think is the absolute lowest, actually, to be honest. But like, I've gone through like average, like maybe 150, 155, 160 for a long time. And then, and then like, you know, the pandemic, I like really gained a lot of weight because I was at home a lot just eating. And I got up to like 190. So like, yeah, you can gain weight being vegan. <laughs> and like now I'm down to like 165, 170. Yeah, like there was one day I got up to like 170. I'm not too proud of. <laughs> but like, yeah, I want to get back down to like 160, 155. I think that would be ideal for me. Like not too skinny. I've noticed some people when they try and go vegan, they just like try cutting cold turkey and like treat it like quitting cigarettes. Like you can like slowly get off of it like less and less. Like instead of eating meat seven days a week, try eating meat five days a week and then go down to three days a week, then go down to once and then none at all. Like eventually when you go down to like a certain point like I did, it be it's just like so disgusting. You're like you can't believe you even ate it before. Like it's so like disgusting. It's like oh my god, I can't believe people actually think that's food. Like and like what the dead animals eat had eaten plants, and like with climate change, like the meat industry is like in, like literally like one of the top, if not the top polluter like in the planet, like methane is far more potent than CO2. So like clearly it's having an impact and like the clear evidence of like wastewater flowing into the river streams, like from the meat industry is like poisoning rivers and oceans and stuff like that. Like there's little dead zones in oceans now. So like, yeah, like eating meat is like literally destroying our planet. It's not sustainable.